We're here with Professor Johnson and we're going to be talking about his recent acceptance as an affiliate scholar. Could you tell me how this opportunity arose? Sure. The Stanford Law School Center for Internet and Society is a uh, place that uh, brings together scholars and um, uh, pra practicing attorneys who are interested in the legal aspects of technology, the internet, uh, the civil rights aspects, the free speech uh, questions, the intellectual property questions, and gives them an opportunity to work on a variety of projects that are related to that subject area. I mean, the, the internet and technology is ubiquitous with us. It's uh, something that is ahead of the law, unexpected by the law. The law has a hard time knowing what to do with it, what it should do with it, if it should do anything, and, and the center provides a, a place for people to come together to study those, those issues. So I uh, created a project called Konamark, and I wanted to find a place where there would be some expertise, people who could help me think about how to uh, take this into the world and introduce it to people and make it useful to people in the real world. And so I contacted the uh, I contacted CIS at Stanford Law School, and um, uh, they understood what I was talking about right away. They got it, and um, I told them I'd uh, like to join them in some capacity uh, to utilize their expertise and to work with them on that. And and they they understood right away and. Um, and uh, uh, invited me uh, on board as an affiliate scholar. Yeah, the Kono, the Konomark project is the idea that um, people end up creating a lot of intellectual property, a lot of copyrighted content in their daily lives. You take a picture, it's copyrighted. Uh, if someone else wants to use it, they can't use it unless they get permission from you. Now, a lot of people might be fine with other people using their, their pictures or other copyrighted content, but um, how does a person who wants to use, let's see, they see a, a photo on the web. Uh, the person who wants to use that photo, uh, how, do they, how do they ask permission for that? Or how do they know that it might be okay to ask for permission? So many people who take uh, photographs or upload other copyrighted content to the web feel very uh, proprietary over it and controlling and don't want to share it with anyone. And that's fine. But if you are, um, if you'd like to use something, and you want to ask, but you don't know how your request is going to be received, you might feel a little shy about it, so you might not ask. The Konomark is a symbol and a word that you place next to your copyrighted content that you've posted on the internet. And what it says is it's just, a, it's just a, a way of expressing that you're generally open to people asking for permission to use things for free. Uh, and so if you feel that way about it, there's a, there's a symbol. It provides an element of vocabulary for you to say, you know, if, if you want to uh, use this for something, just ask. I'm generally open to receiving those kinds of requests. Could you tell me how you decided to use a pineapple as the mark? The pineapple is, uh, has long been a symbol of hospitality. When transportation was difficult and uh, it, it, you had to take pineapples overseas, they were very, very expensive and exotic, so it was a, a real symbol of hospitality if you set out a pineapple on your table for your guests. So since then, uh, the pineapple has been associated in architectural motifs as a sign of hospitality, of uh, welcoming people and trying to make them feel at ease. And that's the idea of Konomark, is to say you're, you're welcome to ask for permission. You should feel at ease about, about asking me permission to use my copyrighted work for free. The word kono is a Hawaiian word for invite. So along the same lines, to invite you to ask permission for to reuse something for free. And mark because it's a mark. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the pineapple and the word kono mark. I've uh, tried this out uh, as, a, as a pilot program myself uh, with uh, a lot of photos I've uploaded to Flickr. And uh, I've taken, I, I now have over 6,000 photos on Flickr. So uh, I've uploaded these photos to Flickr and put a little legend down there that said, Konomark, most right shareable. If you're interested in using this for free for something, feel free to email me. I'm generally okay with giving permission for people to use it for free. And I get a lot of requests, and it's very interesting. I, I think I get about probably one a week. 
Um, I get requests from small businesses, from uh, people with newsletters, uh, from educators, and uh, it's, it's, so it's interesting to see what your content ends up being used for. Um, and then every once in a while I've gotten a, a uh, request from someone who I said, you know, I don't really think I do want to share that with you for free, but if you pay me it'll be okay, like a national magazine. And that's something where I don't really feel like sharing because they pay for most of their content anyway. But if it's somebody's website or somebody's blog or some small business's uh, newsletter, um, yeah, I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy to share it's, that. So it's interesting to, to get that response from people and say, oh, I saw your picture of a courthouse and it would really be useful uh, to us. We're putting together this presentation. Can we use it? And I say, yeah, that's fine. And, and it makes me feel good because I know that these photos I've put up on the, on the web are useful to other people. My hope is that the Kona Mark will, uh, as a symbol, will uh, help people make that communication if they're interested in making it and uh, help them share their content on the internet. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to share that with us. Well, thank you.